a nation of immigrants. We must remember that the blood of immigrants flows through all of our veins. I want to join my colleague uh, uh, who mentions, uh, thank the president for enabling us to gather here. She said quit. She said quit. She said quit. American traits. All of the immigrants make America more American. Thank you for making America more American. Sold American. That's right. Nancy Pelosi and her friends uh, have put America on the auction block. And sold it to the highest bidders. Apparently, Mexico was the highest bidder. Uh, down the line, of course, there are others who are on the uh, auction block. Soon you'll be on the auction block. It's a sort of reversal of the, well, let me just stop right there. It's a family show. A lot of news out there. The, the march on Washington by the illegal aliens is probably the greatest black eye Obama's ever given himself. It will never be forgotten by most uh, Americans. Never. Going along with closing the World War II Memorial and the Vietnam Veteran Memorial and closing off the turnouts for Mount Rushmore, going along with that and permitting illegal aliens to march on Washington in a rally on closed National Mall is one of the greatest disgraces in the history of the American presidency. And if we had a legitimate media, they, somebody would have asked that today. But that's an old story. There's no point in complaining about the fact that we lost our media a long time ago. Park Rangers turned Gestapo. Well, I saw that a long time ago. When my children were young, the girls were having a picnic on a beach in Marin County, and a group of feminasties came out with 44s on their uh, not-so-thin hips. Mean-faced, clipped-haired Park Rangers with 44s threatened the girls with arrest for having a picnic on Stinson Beach many, many decades, a couple of decades ago. I think that the um, private national security force that Obama's been warning us about that threatened he would unleash them on the public would be the feminasties in the Park Service. Why were they armed? I, I complained about when they were armed. They were armed by Nixon. I, I said it shouldn't have been done. Why are you arming these women? What did you give them guns for? Who are they using them on? The Mexican mafia to stop them from growing drugs? No. Who are they using them on? Old ladies in a tour bus. <clears throat> So that's it. That's it. When it comes to uh, the issue of funding our government, the House has passed four bills. Four bills to fund our government and provide fairness to the people under Obamacare. Each of those four bills was rejected by the United States Senate. Under the Constitution and our system of government, uh, we asked that they sit down and have a conversation with us uh, about funding the government, keeping it open, and providing fairness to the American people under Obamacare. They refuse to do it. Happy times again. Boehner has come back from the land of the living dead to take on Obama. I like Boehner today. I, got to, I was very impressed with him. I could see why he's still speaker. He was good. He was 100% right, by the way. The president made a, um, a fool of himself. No one believed the president except the, those paid to believe him. He was an embarrassment, by the way, to the Democrat Party. He showed a meanness, I'm talking about Obama, a meanness that uh, is beyond belief. Unbelievable to me, but that's, uh, you know, look, they say the demographics are king. He's banking on granting amnesty to 30 to 60 million illegal aliens to close the books on democracy once and for all. To slam the book shut on this constitutional republic of ours, all it's going to take is amnesty for the non-citizens who will all vote for him, He'll vote for anything he wants, an increased debt limit. They don't even know what it means. What